All right, here I am for my weekly plan with me, May 31st to June 6th. I um, will be transparent and life got away from me, so it's actually Memorial today, day today, so I am back planning Monday. But um, just so you know, we don't always live it perfectly and get it done right, but I will go ahead and film this week. I'm going to try to use um, some different stickers, and then the other thing I'm working on is... My Coco Daisy, you know, June starts with this glorious travel stuff. And so um, here's some of the things that I got to figure out how to use. These look really cool because they fold over the page. Um, and then I have the Dory as well. So I will probably work on either that on Instagram um, because I'm not sure exactly how I'll be using it. I do love this paper clip though. And this one, unlike some of the other paper clips I've had, sticks down farther so I don't feel it's up some of them stick so high up off the book because you know I'm not doing it in something that has a cover I'm thinking about going back to doing some Coco Daisy Dory and my petite planners so um, I'm thinking about adding that so lots of fun things coming to the channel and over on Instagram under defined spaces but for this week I'm gonna just kind of use what I have um, what I love it says everything but has beauty but not everyone sees it and then make a conscious effort to reflect on all of the good things that have happened this week find the good in everything and see how much of an impact positive reflection has in your life so if you saw my previous video about my um, health journal I've now added I wasn't using the month and so now I'm using that for gratitude slash self-care so I kind of like that it ties in this week um and then I have some Michael stickers out of those happy books but um it says let the beauty of what you love be what you do. And as I'm trying to figure out some things in my business world, I really love this sticker and it will be apropos this week as I kind of figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have, I wanted to do a little less stickers, be more decorative um, because I have lots going on. Um, I have lots going on. So it's going to be super busy this week. So I just am going to do pen. I'm using my Erin Condren black pen with the fine tip. Um, I need to find reasons to use the big tip. Otherwise, the fine tips will all be out and I'll have a bunch of other ones. So I'm going to do some of the activities. I'm just going to use, I'm not going to use even mild liner. I'm just going to keep it simple this week with so much going on. Um, and what I'll add for stickers, I want to kind of keep it not overwhelming as some of my, you know, uh, paint layouts can be. So we have a school music performance here. That will be fun. Um, I'm possibly doing a planner meetup, so I'm going to write that here because I don't know the time yet. Um, first one in a while, so that'll be nice. And then Henley has a field trip, so we will do Henley lunch field trip and then that is really all as far as events that I will put on here however Henley has a field trip oh and Hawk so we'll put this down here Hawk bike rally so lots going on so those will be the two highlights of the day Um, I was trying to think, do I want to use my rainbow washi? Because it's so freaking pretty. Got these the other day. They are so beautiful. Um, I was just thinking now that I wrote two things, I could have a whole morning thing of what we need to do. And I could use the washi to block it off. But we'll see. We'll see. I got one sticker going so far. Okay. Oh, and Saturday is second shot. So... We ended up getting our vaccine, um, so our second shot is Saturday. I'm hopefully we don't get sick. We didn't. We kind of got sick after the first one, so I'm hoping that that second one will be fine because we were not able to go to church this weekend, and I really want to go to church next week. And I don't like missing two days, two weeks in a row because then you know a month happens. So then I'll do my Sunday basket. For those of you wanting to know what that is, that's how I come up with basically this list. I put all of my, all my mail, everything in a box, and then I go through it once a week, pay all my bills, plan out my week, and it saves me hours during the week, and it's nice to have everything, because then I'm not saying yes to things when 
it's all in front of me and I realize, oh, I have seven things I can't say yes to. So it was really nice. If you want more information, message me and I can tell you more about it. Um, so let's, I have some personal to do. Um, I have a review to do for somebody I'm working on my health. And so I've been working hard with her for six months. So she asked if I would do a review. So I need to do that. I'm doing Dave Ramsey classes with my teenager. So, um, she's here this week. She goes every other week to her dad. So this week we will work on those. Um, and then I'm really trying to get caught up on my podcasts. My work to do list is much smaller because I do have a work planner. So I just put, highlight the important things. So um, I need to listen to Simple Scrapper, Organize 365, and then Planner Talk. And then if I find any more during the week, I can write them down. But this kind of reminds me, oh, I got to go listen to a podcast because otherwise I forget. I need to do some child care paperwork for next fall. And then print some paperwork for my doctor. So I like when you have a busy week. It doesn't always have to be about being pretty. It's going to be functional because we do have so much going on. I think since I usually don't start my day till nine, I will. Let me see what kind of skinny washi I have. Save the rainbow and see what else I have to use up. All right. Got one that might work. Let me see. I do like that. And I do have some kind of. This one. All right, we'll use up this one. Like I said, repurpose people. Use what you have. I just filmed another video that'll be on YouTube today about my gratitude journal or my health journal. And uh, you'll see the mass amount of stickers I have. And that's only two of my seven, eight books. <laughs> so anyway, since I don't usually start my day till nine, I'm going to cover up that area so that I can list because we're gonna have some busy mornings with the kids it's getting towards the last days of school so it's going to get super busy with um our mornings and what we need to prep so i will mark that time off so i can do a little am routine during the week and figure out what i want to do on the weekend with that there because I have not gotten down to AM routine. I finally figured out maybe some things I will enjoy doing as far as an AM routine. And so um, I just don't want to do it for do it's sake. So I'm trying to make sure I have um, some things kind of written down that I'll do and not make it so overwhelming that, you know, getting awake or waking up is stressful because of all that you have to do. So um, back planning. So plan with me. Passion Planner, Plan With Me, EC Vertical. So that'll be nice too. And then Bike Ride. So my son has a bike rally, as I was mentioning, at the end of the week. So every day we need to plan some bike riding time, <laughs> which will get harder as the week goes on. But um, that is the goal. Bike ride and then here we have to decorate um bring bike i might highlight that ten thousand times i'm just afraid we're gonna forget the bike <laughs> and then excuse me some kind of meetup so thursday and so yeah so that'll be perfect i can add each thing goes on i may try to find a babysitter for sunday partial day if just so that my husband and i can rest from the shot um we have a four and a five year old and we did get COVID a couple weeks ago and they kind of ran the household. We just were so sick. We could not really do much and we totally just let them roam and hope for the best. So um, we are all better. We're one of the lucky ones that got it very mildly and don't have any side effects. So praying for you that are out there that do and those of you who have been able to stay away from it. So because it is no fun. All right. I decided 
to add some of the washi down here because I don't typically use all of these. Um, it's really hard to see the bottom page. They all stick together down below. Um, I don't typically use all of the checklists, so I do. I can spare, but I just wanted some color throughout. Since I'm not doing highlight, I'm just doing the pen this week. I wanted to have the ability to have something else to look at. I'll just line that up. Maybe. Oh my goodness, I'll have to cut it off. All right. <laughs> Try not to waste, but sometimes. Um, this washi, I believe, was part of a Michaels set that I got. You know, the beauty of taking it all out and organizing it is awesome, but then when you're trying to figure out when people ask you, where'd you get that washi? It's like, yeah, I don't have a clue where I got it. I usually use my Erin Condren ruler, however, it's somewhere else, and this came with her 3x5 cards, and you'll see by the end of the week or after a few weeks, I will have a ton of washi tape, but I feel like sticking it here versus other places. Um, I need to get that desktop garbage. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that garbage can that you can put on your desktop. It's so cute. That's on my wish list in my Amazon cart. Um, all right, so we got the washi down. I'm going to find a few more um, probably stickers about, you know, kind of going with this um, being peaceful and enjoying life and all that. So since I took today off, I will see. I don't know how far it goes over, so I don't care about how far it goes over. I just don't want to mark the times there. And then we're doing a family dinner tonight. We did one last night with my whole family, but tonight will just be the five of us, maybe six if I can get my oldest to come, so that'll be good. Um... I'm going to go, go for it on this week's focus. I am kind of covering up that, but I know what it says, and I'm just going to focus on the go for it, so that will be my focus easily. <laughs> and then since Saturday, I know will be um, a little downtime. I will put a big sticker there as well. The hard about part pre-planning is you don't know, you know, I see people all the time put a bunch of stickers down, I'm like, what if something happens? But again, I can probably write on these. I can do a, um, add another sticker over it if something comes up, but, um, that is there. Um, every day choose joy. I might need this after my how I depend how I feel I'll have to remember to be, choose joy on Sunday and then again be different babe all right that's not one of my favorites but again if you've been following me for a while you know my word of the year is repurpose and so I am trying to repurpose stickers so that I can get rid of so in my two videos today I did get rid of two sticker sheets so that is awesome so I have everything here for the week um I'm going to I'll fill this out as well um, with good things that happen during the week so that um, if I'm particularly having a bad day, like Tuesday might be rough because of the fact that I took today off. So, you know, that whole email, all that's checking up. And then I'm going to try to, one of the things in my morning routine is open this up, look at the day, look at my list. And then if I want to do something down here, um, I sometimes will write it up in a time so that it actually um, gets done and it's not just second nature being down here. So simple week, just use what I had using the pen and uh, it doesn't always have to be gorgeous, just as long as it's functional. Unless you're doing this as a hobby, that's okay. But if you're using this to run your life, make sure the most important thing about it is that it's actually functional. <laughs> if it's not functional, go back to the drawing board, message me. I love to help people pick out planners. I have tried a bunch and I'm actually thinking of going to the Passion Planner daily. I'm thinking about doing it in October because that's when things get super busy with the holidays. Um, and I thought that three month, you can, I don't know how long they last. I, so I'm thinking they're three months. So I thought that'd be perfect in the year, October, November, December. I think I'm gonna take a break on Coco Daisy because of the cost, um, most likely for July, August and September, but I love the fall colors 
that's so beautiful and everything. So I think I'd start back up with my Cocoa Daisy and maybe ditch the weekly and go to the daily. But we will see. I'll still keep filming some of these uh, different planners so you guys can um, just get a few feel of what else is out there. Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, find me on Defined Spaces on Instagram as well, and then comment on what planner you're using. I'd love to know what everybody's using right now. Thanks, guys.